Matchup. They met earlier, Mike. Indian Hill came away with the victory. That's right. Uh, what's Indian Hill going to try to do tonight? Well, it looks like Indian Hill, we talked to the coach earlier, and he told us that they're going to try to speed up the tempo, keep it a fast tempo so that hopefully they can run the ball down Redding's throat. Want to talk about the big man, number 54, and that is Mr. Welch. He's averaging 17.1 points per game, 6'10". He's going to be tough for the, uh, Redding to stop tonight. Well, Redding is going to have trouble stopping him. They'd like to, Redding, on the other hand, would like to slow the ball down, control it, shoot well, make him move away from right. the basket if Absolutely. they have any chance to come away with the victory. Well, we've rushed this opening, and we're going to turn it over to our public address announcer, Richard Morgan, for the uh, opening introductions. Rich? Students, ladies and gentlemen, please join Mystique Smith, Blue Devil cheerleader, in the singing of our national anthem. Gymnasium, home of the Ruddy and Blue Devils. Tonight's contest is between the Braves of Indian Hill High School and the Blue Devils of Reading. Before we get started, we'd like to introduce our cheerleaders who will add some pep and spice to tonight's game. For the Indian Hill cheerleaders, Captain A.D. Clearman, Captain Mandy Melzer, Teresa Duong, Susan Falahi, Pam First, Heather Lewis, Becca Plotnick, Susie White, Abby Wolke, Amy Wolf, and Emily Wolf. For the Blue Devils tonight, our cheerleaders are as follows. Senior Paula Wolke. Senior Nicole Kirby and her 18th birthday tonight. Senior Mystique Smith. Senior T. Neum. Senior Sarah Renner. Junior Elizabeth Arnett. Junior Adrian Wells. Junior Vanessa Wolke. And Junior Tara Mullins. The Indian Hill Braves are coached by Dale Harmon, and he's assisted by Stan Kimbrough and Dom Giordano. The Blue Devils are assisted by Jerry Schmidt, Mike Center, and the head coach is Mr. Rich Benzman. Starting lineup for tonight for the Indian Hill Braves. At forward number 40, a six foot three inch junior, Grady Rogers. Rogers. At forward, number 30, a 6'2 inch senior, Ben Katz. Katz. At center, a 6'10 junior, number 54, Kevin Welsh. Welsh. At guard, a 6'2 junior, number 24, Alan English. English. And at guard, a 5'9 senior, number 14, Charlie Hall. Hall. For the Blue Devils tonight, at forward, a six foot four inch senior, number 34, Mitch Hayes. Hayes. 
At forward, a 6'3 junior, number 42, Craig Wilkin. Wilkin. At center, a six foot six inch junior, number 44, Andy Brink. Brink. At guard, a six foot three inch senior, number 11, Mike Berger. Berger. And at the other guard, a six foot junior, number three, Scotty Lawson. Lawson. Well, we'd like to thank Richard Morgan for the introductions and a beautiful uh, Star Spangled Banner performed by Miss Mystique Smith, a Reading student, and uh, hats off to her. And we're about ready to tip off. This is Bob Murphy with Mike Lyons. It's High School Hoops 2000, ICRC Sports. Mike, look for a look for real barber. This is a two-point oh, yeah. game the last time they met until Indian Hill made the free throws down the stretch. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Apparently, uh, they beat them. Indian Hill beat Reading by 12 last time. So, again, a big play by Welch inside is, is what we're going to watch tonight. And we might add Reading is playing much, much better. Four out of their last five games right. have been victories. Coach uh, Benzman said that uh, he really thinks his team has matured uh, since the 0-6 uh, beginning. And uh, he looks for big things tonight out of this club. And we're ready to tip. It's, it's oh, Welsh. That was easy. Welsh wins the tip. Oh boy! And right away. See, they didn't get out on him. Got to get out on him. Keep him just because they're concentrating on Welsh doesn't mean that they can't shoot outside. Well, it's a good start for Indian Hill at three, and they're up 3-0 early. Blue Devils controlling the ball. Oh, nice pick. Picking up a man-to-man, -man, Indian Hill. 